Hi, this is Mr. Cho and welcome to my study room. In today's study, we are using Casio FX991 AS Plus to do matrix calculation. And more importantly, I'm using a second edition. All right, to solve a question like this, if matrix A has entries negative 1, 2, 3, 4, matrix B, 2, 5, 4, 6, and matrix C, negative 3, negative 7, 1, 4, find the following. A is matrix B plus C, B matrix A minus B, C3 matrix B plus C, D3B minus 2A, and then E squared minus 3B, and many other things we'll be doing. So how do we do it? Let's first start by turning on our calculator. So we turn on our calculator here. We want to do matrix calculations. So we press mode, and then we look for matrix. Matrix is number 6, so you enter 6 on your calculator. And then it will ask you where do you want to enter the data. So we have three there: matrix A, which is mat A, mat B, and mat C. So the first one is A. So I would like to enter it into matrix A. So I'll select number one. Then to ask you of the matrix dimension. You know matrix is row by column. So it's asking what type of matrix do you want to enter? Is it three by three, three by two, three by one, and so on and so forth? But for our question here. We are doing two by two matrix. So I'll look for two by two matrix, which is number five. So I press five for two by two matrix. The dimension of your matrix is what you choose from there. I have two by two. So the case is already on column one, row one. So I will enter the numbers. I have negative one there. So negative one. Then I press equal to it will move to the next one. I have two. So two equal to three equal to and then four equal to i have finished entry my data but this is just matrix a i want to enter matrix b and c so i press ac that one is recorded don't worry it has already recorded it in the memory so i go to shift and i look for matrix that is in the yellow and that is number four so i press matrix number four then I want to enter data, so I'll go to data number two. Then it's asking, do you want to enter into matrix A or matrix B? We have entered matrix A already. If you like, we can press one, you will see matrix A. The numbers are there. Now those are the numbers we entered for matrix A. So we are not looking for matrix A. Let's go back to so shift four for matrix. Then we enter data number two. We are now going to matrix B. So Two. The dimension is two by two, so I go to five for two by two matrix. Then I enter my value. So for two, we have two equal to five equal to four equal to and six equal to. You have to check where the cursor is and make sure you enter the number there. We have finished that. It's recorded in the memory. So AC. We go back to shift four for matrix. Then data. We want to enter matrix C. So you go to two for data matrix. C is number three. It's also two by two matrix. So I press five for two by two matrix for matrix C. Then I enter the entries for matrix C. I have negative three. So negative three equal to negative one equal to. Sorry, that is negative seven, not negative one. So I go back to the negative where it is i send the cursor there so negative seven when i press equal to you to replace the negative one then i go to one equal to four equal to so it has recorded everything i want to enter and i have my matrix a my matrix b and my matrix c now i want to answer question a which is matrix b plus matrix c so i'll just go to shift i go to four for matrix i'll look for matrix b that's number four so four for matrix b then i press plus i repeat the same process shift four matrix c is number five so c you can see display on the screen matrix 
b plus matrix c so i press equal to and that is the answer negative 1 negative 2 5 and 10 so that is how we do the addition so i'm sure you can do for the others matrix a minus matrix b we'll be doing similar thing then i'll go to c i'll jump the b and go to c 3b plus c so it's going to be similar ac i press my three i go and look for matrix b so shift number four for matrix i'm looking for matrix b so that's number four again so you can see three matrix b then plus i go to the process shift number four for matrix i'm looking for c so five for matrix c so you can see three matrix b plus matrix c i press equal to and that is the answer 3 8 13 and 22 as the answer for 3 times matrix b plus matrix c then if i want to do the d 3b minus 2a so i press ac the data is recorded so nothing to worry about i press 3 shift 4 matrix b is number 4 so 4 matrix b minus 2a so 2 shift 4 i choose a is number 3 so 3 matrix b minus 2 matrix a equal to and there is a answer there on our screen then that is not the only thing we can do we can also square the matrix or even multiplication we can multiply as well not only addition and subtraction we can multiply so let's say matrix a times matrix b you can just press AC shift 4 for matrix and look for matrix A. Matrix A is number 3, then matrix B shift 4, matrix B is 4. So equal to, and that is our answer the product of matrix A and B. Assuming you want to change the entry of any of the matrix, you just do whatever we did earlier. You press AC, you go to shift 4 for matrix, then you go to number 2 data, then you select the matrix you want to edit, A, B, and C. So, number 1 matrix A, the entries are there. So, if you want to change the entries, you just put the cursor there, enter the number, you press equal to, the number will change. So, that's what you do if you want to change the entries of a matrix. There's another function called the math answer. For example, we, we, we did a calculation. We want to use the calculation to perform another calculation. For example, we want to add matrix C to the product of matrix A and B. We don't need to do all of them at once. We can just do the product first. So math A, we select math A number 3 times math B number 4 math B. This is the product equal to this gives us the product they want to subtract math c from it so first of all we have to store it in our memory by pressing shift rcl which has the store we have stored it in our memory then now we go to shift 4 math answer is number 6 that means we want to use our answer so 6 math answer minus shift 4 for the math then we choose math c which is number 5 equal to so that is what we do when you want to use the answer you don't need to write it somewhere before you copy again you just store it then you go and perform whatever you want to perform from it so that's how the math answer function is also used that means we can find a square or cube of a matrix and so on different thing you want to do you just have to enter the data make sure before you do this your calculator is in the matrix mode then you can you enter the data first remember if you want to change the data you go back to how we learned it data entry you choose the dimension then you work it out but then that's not the only thing we can do you can do other things in the matrix mode for example shift four for matrix then we can find the determinant of the matrix for example that is number seven so we can go to number seven determinant of matrix a so determinant shift four matrix a that's number three and we press equal to that is negative 10 so determinant of matrix a is negative 10 and you can do that for any 
of the other two or you can find the product after that you find the determinant of your answer you can find the sum or difference after that you find the determinant not only the determinant can we do we can also find the transposition of a matrix shift for then trn is number eight transposition so you press it then which of the matrices do we want to do let's say c so shift for we're going to choose matrix c which is five transposition matrix c we press equal to and that is our answer i hope you understand what transposition of a matrix is yes so that gives us the transposition matrix c so these are a few things we can do with casio fs991 es plus when it comes to matrices i hope this video has been of help to you if yes then kindly consider subscribing to this channel for more videos like this thank you for your time with me today and i hope to see you again bye bye